five, a toddler in Jackson County is recovering after his dad says that a lemur attacked him while they were at a petting zoo. An ambulance took the boy to the hospital for treatment. But the father claims doctors weren't exactly sure what to do. Tonight, that boy's dad tells Fox 5's Rob DiRienzo that his son is okay and taking antibiotics, but he wants the petting zoo owner held accountable. The 17-month-old boy was in this petting cage with his dad when one of the lemurs jumped on them. Whatever happened next sent him to the hospital. My son was looking at the lemurs. He was excited. He was happy. They were jumping around. And the owner had told us that if you want to go inside with the lemurs, then you can go inside. So that's what Ronald Carroll did at the Half Moon Petting Zoo over the weekend, holding his son Lawrence. That's when he says one of the lemurs flew at the one-year-old. The lemur jumps on my son's head, starts attacking him. I tell the owner to let me out. And he opens the door up, and then I look down, and this blood is just gushing out of my child's head. An ambulance took Lawrence to a hospital on Saturday, where medics bandaged him up and started him on antibiotics. It's not clear if it was a bite or a scratch or something else, but Dad is worried and unsure if there is a risk that the lemur infected his son with something. All through the weekend, me and my wife are worried sick. Uh, nobody has gotten the animals, nobody's tested the animals, and we're wondering, does my son have rabies or does he have some other disease? I showed up at the petting zoo on Monday looking for answers and ran into the owner. They can't beat if they want to, but they never beat you know, anybody. You know. He says he saw the whole thing happen and it's just in lemur's nature to jump. Uh, lemurs jump on him like they jump on you and he back away. He was scared. I told him, take the child on the hand because they will jump on you. He said, yeah, we know, we know. The Georgia Department of Natural Resources says a toddler should have never been allowed in that cage. Carol says he couldn't reach anyone from the agency until Monday, after he had already been freaking out. Do you think that, that it's safe for a child to be around a lemur? No, I don't think so. Carol took his son to the pediatrician Monday, where they told him his risk of disease is relatively low. Still, the whole experience terrified them. I just want to make sure my son is okay and make sure that this doesn't happen to any other family. State wildlife officials confirmed to Fox 5 that they are investigating. They are expected to come out to the property on Monday to talk with the owner. In Jackson County, Rob DiRienzo, Fox 5 News.